Let's know we have an interesting story coming up. The United States of America is considered one of the nations with a great influence on the rest of the world. Her presidents have often been branded as the most powerful. KTN's Lofty Matambo analyzes Obama's qualities in comparison with African leaders. This should be interesting. Take a look. Since the times of George Washington, first U.S. president, from 1789 to 1799, the United States has often elected very intelligent leaders, presidents with charisma, who've made great impressions on the world stage. Change has come to America. That could be just a perception. Nonetheless, this perception has managed to make most leaders around the world, especially in Africa, follow and bow to ideologies and policies suggested by the U.S. presidents. With respect to uh, uh, the rights of, of gays and lesbians, I've been consistent all across Africa on this. Uh, I believe in the principle of treating people equally under the law. We must admit we don't share. Our culture, our societies don't accept. It's very difficult for us to be able to impose on people that which they themselves do not accept. President Uhuru Kenyatta found himself in what most people are already calling a great historical turning point. Just like Obama, at that moment Uhuru was speaking to a world audience that could have judged him very harshly and he turned against his government's position just to please his guests. Still few people expected him to be so bold before Obama. Tukumbuke Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alizaliwa Ikulu. Sasa aliona baba yake aki akihojiwa akizungumza na marais wengine kwa muda amekuwa mwanasiasa kwa muda pia alisomea Marekani sasa hayo yote yalichangia is the presence and aptitude seen in US presidents as seen in Obama only in their well articulated speeches uh, tuliona akisema taasisi moja ya kuwasaidia kina mama itajengwa nchini Kenya sasa si eti mambo yake ni mdomo tu si siasa tu wale watu wako 200 years ahead of us we only celebrated 50 years wao wana celebrate 250 years hawa mara wengine wanapata kuwa waki wakiwa kinyume na matarajio ya wa rais wa America eh, watanyimwa ama wata watakataliwa ama watatalika wata, watakuwa ndika wame Maina says the campaign and election stages are the most crucial in getting the desired leaders. Campaign in America ni campaign gumu na ya muda mrefu endapo hujaimarika kwa kuzungumza pengine kwa kuwa mtu aliye na ufasaha katika mambo fulani basi itakuwa ni vigumu sana uh, kushinda uchaguzi. The US has the added advantage of hundreds of years of independence. And the voters have therefore learned what to look for in a leader. Loft Matambo, KTN News.